normally I would do the inside of a vehicle first and then wash the outside. But we're gonna do just the touchless wash and see how clean this thing comes without any agitation. We have lots of bugs, a nice layer of traffic film. She's pretty dirty. 22,000 miles on this 2022 F-150. I'm real curious, I don't know if the dirt, if it's coming up in the camera here, but the back is real dirty. I'm curious to see ooh, how well Stars and Stripes does. Shocking this dirt and paint. Let's see how much comes off. So let's try okay, it out. Okay, I have two foam cannons. So I rinsed them both out and marked with a paint pen up to the 500 milliliter line on each cannon. And then the four to one ratio would be 125 milliliters or about 4.25 ounces. So I have this exactly four to one. And then I have those marked so I can use those for reference in the future. Just go to the bottom line with the water and then fill in my stars and stripes. Cause I'm never gonna use a full foam cannon more than likely. I think even these half cannons will be enough sufficient to double layer this big truck and then rinse it and we'll see the results we get. All right, here we go. Stars first. See, I still got half a cannon left. Perfect amount. All right, here we go with stripes. soap on the ground. All right, I'm gonna finish with a high pressure rinse, bottom up, and then at the very end, I'll switch to see our spotless, spot-free water and rinse top to bottom so we can let it air dry in the sun. That's impressive how yellow those tires are getting. This stuff is breaking down the dirt. Active 2.0 pressure washer. What they're included, I think it's a 3.7 orifice. Uh, I think this is a 25 degree tip. Now I'm going to turn on my CR spot, let's give it a rinse, work on the inside for a while, come back when the vehicle's dry and give you guys an update. Sure it looks good wet, but we'll see what it looks like when it dries. First impressions, I loved how much dirt was coming off those tires. A lot of the bugs did blow off, probably as good or better than any pre-treatment I've used. Some stuff did not blow off, since this is going to get um, a clay and seal package Maybe section at a time, rinseless wash, iron remover clay, towel, um, and then dry it. We'll come back later and put on a nice ceramic spray sealant. But a lot of chemical and soap going on the driveway. The neighbors, if they see that show, are going to be like, this dude is running a professional grade semi-tractor trailer truck wash over there. So very messy, but the climate was perfect today. 
that I don't have to worry about anything drying. With those strong acidic of a two and an alkaline of I think a 12 or 13, you don't want any of that stuff drying on the vehicle at all. All right, we'll come back in a little bit. All right, it's not gonna stop raining out here today, but I am pretty impressed. That's not leaving a line. So we gotta do that towel test thing, right? That everybody does. So let me get my inspection light here first and show you the tailgate. I mean, it's not bad. Not bad. So let's get a clean towel. Let's do right here. It's light blue. Okay. And see if we can call bull crap on all the stuff that everybody does. Okay. I'm pretty impressed. There's nothing coming off in my towel, guys. So this is a little wet. That'll actually help pull off some dirt if there is any. Just a little, there's a little bit there. Okay. I was gonna say, that was, that'd be pretty dang impressive. I'm still impressed. Um, it's something I will use, you know, if I have to clean a bigger vehicle and I wanna do a, a good touch list before I get into my other wash methods. It did remove a lot of dirt. So it's a win. So once my quartz are done, I will be getting gallons because I think this will be something that I will use. I also introduced that as my cheapest exterior package. For those that don't want to get a hands-on contact wash, they're a tight budget and they just want an interior detail and a cheaper exterior service, I would do something like that for 25 or 30 bucks. I wouldn't dress the tires, wouldn't touch it at all, just double foam, rinse, and then a spot-free rinse. You know, it'll take about 15, 20 minutes probably for a normal size vehicle. Charge them 25 bucks. And I think they'll get better results with this than they would at the car wash with a touchless wash. Because I'll spend a little bit more time blasting those really dirty or buggy areas. Let me know what you guys think. All right, take care. Thanks for watching my channel as always.